Hi and welcome to Standard 8. We're going to be working with problems with perimeter, circumference, uh, surface area, and volume of common geometric figures. Let's take a look at Standard 8. Standard 8 says, students, know, derive, and solve problems including perimeter, circumference, uh, area, volume, lateral area, and surface area of common geometric figures. Okay, Standard 8 is represented by problems starting with 33. On to... 37. So from 33 to 37. So let's look at problem 33. A right circular cone has a radius of 5 inches and a height of 8 inches. Okay, key thing it told us was the word right. So that tells us this right away. And I see this variable L here. Anyone know what to do? That's right, Pythagorean theorem. So 5 squared plus 8 squared equals L squared. That's 25 plus 64 equals L squared. That's 89 equals L squared, therefore L equals the square root of 89. Okay, we did that before we even read the rest of the problem, because I was pretty sure we are going to have to solve it. Let's see what it actually says. What is the lateral area of the cone? Ooh, maybe not a familiar concept, but not difficult, because it gives you the formula right here. Lateral area of the cone equals pi times the radius times L, where L is the slant height. So we just solved L. So we've got is pi times the radius times the square root of 89. So what's the radius here? Well, the radius is right there. So it's 5 uh, pi square root of 89. Maybe not in that order, but that's the answer we're looking for. So which one looks like that? That would be D. 5 pi square root of the 89 square inches. Easy. OK. Um, figure 34 says, figure A, B, C, D is a kite. And it says, what is the area? A figure A, B, C, D in square centimeters. So we can do this as four different uh, triangles if we want. So 6 times 8 is 48, and because it's a triangle, we divide by 2, so this is 24. This one's also 24. Uh, 8 times 15 is 120. 120 divided by 2 is 60, and this is also 60, so you can add these together. 60 plus 60 is 120. Uh, 144. 168. Uh, so 168 is our answer. The other way to do it is you can actually use the kite formula, which is going to be diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 divided by 2. That works just as well. This diagonal here has a length of 16. This has a length of 21. So 16 times 21 is 336. 336 divided by 2 because, remember, divide by 2. So 336 divided by 2, 2 goes into 3 one time, that makes 2. 2 goes into uh, 13 six times, that makes 12. 2 goes into 16 eight times. Either way, we get 168 for our answer. So 168 is the area of this kite. Okay, next one, number 35. If a cylindrical barrel measures 22 inches in diameter, how many inches will it roll in eight revolutions along a smooth surface? Okay, so we've got our cylindrical barrel. That means it makes a cylinder. And the diameter is 22 inches. Okay, so if it's rolling, it's rolling like this, um, basically every time it rolls one full revolution, that's equal to one times the circumference. So if we knew the circumference, we'd know how far it rolls in one revolution. And the circumference is just uh, the diameter times pi. So circumference equals 20 to pi. And how many revolutions? 8 revolutions. That means 22 pi times 8. So 22 times 8 is 176. Don't forget the pi, especially on Thanksgiving. Ha ha ha. Uh, don't forget the pi because um, we're talking about the circumference, not the diameter. Circumference, not diameter. Therefore, C is your best answer. Okay, next, ooh, this one, this one's caused a few people some headaches. A sewing club is making a quilt. Okay, quilt, it's important to know what a quilt is. A quilt is like a blanket that's made of small little patches, okay? So this one is made of 25 squares on each side, uh, uh, with each side of the square measuring 30 centimeters. If the quilt has five rows and five columns, what is the perimeter of the quilt? So we kind of do this. 
So this gives us our quilt. See, it's five, one, two, three, four, five by five. One, two, three, four, five. And each side of each of these squares is 30. So if that's 30, then this distance will be 150. And the, the question is, what is the perimeter? So it's 150 here. That means 150 here, 150 here, and 150 here. So 4 times 150. Therefore, the answer is 600 centimeters. Okay. Basically, I think the, the word quilt is the most confusing part of that problem. And last one, we've got uh, the minute hand of a clock is 5 inches long. What is the area of the circle in square inches uh, created as the hand sweeps an hour? So, that's when you just kind of got to visualize. Say this is the minute hand. It's 5 inches long. If it sweeps an hour, that means it goes all the way around the circle. So basically, it's asking us what is the area of this circle. So that's going to be pi times the radius squared. If the radius is 5, it's going to be 25 pi units squared. And the best answer is C. And that's it for standard 8. Um, hopefully it wasn't too tough. Make sure to rewind if there's things you don't understand. And I'll see you next time.